Hey everyone, it's Lexi and today I'm going to share with you all the books and movies and TV shows that I accumulated over the month of September. So without further ado, let's get started. So to kind of start out on like kind of an exciting note, like um, like I think maybe some of you watched my video that I did a couple weeks ago, um, but about my Kelsey Ballerini experience, but um, I thought I'd include this in here as well. Um, it was, I already owned the CD. Um, of her like her CD the first time so when I had the meet and greet with her she ended up I asked her to sign it so she signed it for me so this is something I thought it was really exciting and I really love her I, she's probably one of my favorite artists so it was really exciting to like kind of get that signed and have my picture taken with her so I thought I included this in here as well it's because it's kind of music related and so next is also kind of another concert related thing and um it's kind of a funny story. So once I found out that I was going to graduate school, I kind of did like um, like I kind of did like a big gift to myself, I guess. And so I got second row seats to the Dixie Chicks, and like I grew up listening to the Dixie Chicks like my entire life. And so like it was really neat to kind of see them in concert. Um, and then I found out a couple um, months later that my parents got us tickets um, <laughs> for the concert um, where we live, like. Um, as like a family so yeah I saw them twice um, over the last few months that was really neat but um, I didn't I, I didn't end up getting anything until I went by myself um, because I did the VIP thing so I had the early um, crowd merchandising and all that and so um, this is something really exciting because I've never like won anything in my entire life so like I was really surprised and I didn't even notice it until like I came home. So I ended up purchasing the tour book um, and they were showing on the like the screens before the show started that um, the Dixie Chicks ran on the side 10 of these and like to use like the hashtag or whatever to share it on like Twitter and all that. And so I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to get it. So when I get home, I look at it, this book, and I'm like, hmm, it looks like it's been like open, like used before, like what is this? And then I open it to this page and I find out that it is one of the signed copies and I was blown out of the water. So this is Emily's, um, Natalie's and Marty's signature. And I was so excited because they don't really sign a lot of things. So this is like really, really special. And I was super excited with this. So. Yeah, like this made my night. Like I couldn't believe it. <laughs> like and it was said like I never use my Twitter and I kind of put it on there with the hashtag that they said to use and it got like retweeted like over 200 times and like favored and all this, which was pretty amazing. But yeah, like I was super happy about this. Like I wasn't even planning it because I opened it. I'm like this, the binding feels like it's been like used and open before, but now I know why and I am not so mad about that. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to books, um, like everyone else probably on booktube, I also purchased Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas, which is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series. I'm still reading it, this is just a dust jacket, and hopefully I get it done before the month is over because I just have not been in like a reading mood. Usually I pump out a, a, like a book a week, and now it's been like, this is the second book that I'm on. It's been over, clearly it's been over a thousand pages, but still. Yeah, I've been a bit slow with reading, so I want to kind of start something a little different than fantasy. And I also purchased the Throne of Glass coloring book, and this came out, actually I ended up, I both ordered them on Amazon. This one came um, before the Empire of Storms, which was kind of interesting because this came out a day later. Um, but yeah, so this is just like the Throne of Glass coloring book, and it kind of has like, I haven't done all of them yet, but it kind of has like the stories the first story kind of like in there as well and then like kind of like a scene that you can color which is really neat I wish kind of more storybooks or like novels had like a coloring version to it so you can kind of like visualize it especially for like high fantasy where it's like kind of confusing like what is actually going on okay so moving on to kind of films and TV shows um, I first got Captain America Civil War and I am team cap and so when this came out on DVD or on Blu-ray, I had to go and pick it up. And yeah, I love I think Captain America is my favorite out of all the Marvels, like the Marvel world, I guess. So this one's really good. Um it's basically another Avengers movie. I wish kinda there was it's like it's mostly focused on Steve Rogers and um 
like the Iron Man's like character arcs I guess it's mostly focused on that but I would have preferred a movie that kind of centered around Steve Rogers but um this one was still really good too and you got to see a lot of different characters and kind of the post-traumatic stress disorder especially with Tony with after everything that happened in Avengers Age of Ultron and then next I also got season two of Madden Secretary. This is a really good political drama that's on CBS and it basically follows a woman who was in the FBI and like did all that stuff but then she and her husband kind of retired from all that um, and they were teachers at a university until one day the Secretary of State dies and she is asked by the president who used to be her boss at the FBI to be Madam, like to be the Secretary of State. So this kind of follows the political stuff and it makes you kind of realize that Secretary of State actually, it feels like the Secretary of State does more work than the President. I'm really excited season 3 starts on the 2nd but like it's weird because like the cable that comes with this apartment does not have CBS. So I'm gonna have to watch it online, um, like log in and do all that stuff so. But this is a really good series, it's also on Netflix if you want to kind of get into it. It's really good, it has a really good pilot too, which is always nice because some TV shows don't really have the best pilot, but this show is very strong and if you're kind of into strong female leads, especially with like kind of everything that's kind of going on with this election and kind of having women in politics, like this will be the show for you. Next I also got season 7 of Modern Family. This has been one of my all time favorite shows. It is so funny, like I could watch it a hundred times and like still laugh at the same episode. So this was um, the past seasons and I kind of want to go back and like rewatch all of them from beginning to end but I still have to kind of finish up with some other shows. Right now before I can do that I have made like a list of all the Gilmore Girl episodes to watch um, before the revival so I'm kind of working on that and I need to finish The Office and One Tree Hill. So once I finish all those, then I can like go back and start rewatching like Brazilian Isles and all this. And I need to start down to a nappy. Got a lot of work, <laughs> lots of TV to watch, and no little time to do it. And then I also got the 25th anniversary edition of Beauty and the Beast. And I've actually never seen Beauty and the Beast. And so like when I saw that they were going to be releasing one of the um, anniversary editions. I kind of held off watching it until then so I still need to watch it. I think I'm gonna watch it this weekend and I'm really excited for the Emma Watson live action version of this so like this will be kind of like a good thing to kind of familiarize myself with the storyline so yeah and it comes with three versions of the film and then I think an exclusive sneak peek of the new movie Beauty and the Beast like the live action version so that I will definitely have to go check that out and lastly, I got The Shallows, which is about a girl who gets basically stranded in the middle of the water with like a shark. It's really intense. Like I really like it. I want to kind of watch it again. So this weekend, that's probably what I'll be doing uh, as my Friday or Saturday night because I have no social life <laughs> and I don't like going out. But yeah, this one's really exciting and it's actually really good. Um, even though like she's basically in the water the whole time. But yeah, like definitely check this one out. It is very suspenseful. And if you like kind of like the shark Jawsy type movies, then this one is definitely for you. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below like what were some of your favorite books that you purchased this month or movies or if you're a fan of the Dixie Chicks, like what is your favorite song about them that they have. So yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.